Hello everyone and Happy New Year. My name's Finn and welcome to my journey towards a life closer to boat building and sailing. So before I start, I just want to say a massive, massive thanks to all of you guys who watched the last episode and has very kindly donated towards the project to help with purchasing the main components to get the electrical house supply set up, including the battery bank and the first two bespoke stainless steel water tanks that are going to be fitted down in the bilges underneath the sole in the saloon. So thanks to you guys, so far we've managed to raise half of the money needed. So what that's enabled us to do is give Climbing Van, who has designed our full electrical system, the go-ahead on the order to get that paid for and processed and hopefully shipped out in the next week or so. What I've also done is made the purchase of the three lithium iron phosphate 200 amp hour batteries that are going to be the 600 amp hour house battery bank that is going to be used to supply all of the appliances here on the boat. And the final really exciting thing was to give the go ahead on the designs of the stainless steel water tanks that are going to be custom made to fit down here in the bilge uh, underneath the sole boards in the saloon. Now all of those things have now been paid for and the orders are being processed so hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll start to be receiving parcels of all of these new components ready to be fitted in the boat. So while I wait for some of the deliveries to arrive, I'm going to make a start back in the engine room, which the first job is to build the house battery box, which is going to be located aft of the engine beneath the cockpit floor. So the first step is to machine up smoke.
Okay, so that's the battery shelf uh, built and dry fitted here back in the engine room after the engine. Now with the battery box set at this height, it still gives me good enough access to reach the deep sea seal, which is gonna be fitted down here on the stern tube. And I can still access all the way around the aft end of the engine here if I ever need to do any repairs or change any of the parts that are on the back end. So now the battery box is dry fitted here in the boat, I'm able to then start working out where some of the rest of the systems are gonna be fitted so above me is going to be a bit of a cupboard for the main electrical supply components. Things like the inverter and the charge controllers and the fuse board are all going to be fitted in, inside this cupboard here, which will have a panel on the front of it that's accessible from inside the boat that will have the control panel and all the switches for controlling the relevant parts of the boat. So then beneath that cupboard, either side of the engine and the little bit of space uh, behind the engine either side, will be where some of the things for running the engine are going to be fitted. So the water trap exhaust will be fitted just after the engine and the exhaust pipe will run aft through this aft bulkhead and up out onto the port side of the boat. Um, it's going to have a swan net that comes up to the underside of the deck which will be set uh, in the very end of this port side pilot berth. So the exhaust is going to be fitted and then we've got to think about things like the sea strainer and calorifier and engine starter battery and the fuel tanks of course and all the fuel lines and the relevant control panels for starting the engine and of course running in the Morse controls for the throttle and the gear selector. But now I've got the battery box in, I'm able to start seeing what space I've got to work with. So I can then make a start on getting some of the electrical components fitted into the boat.
So I've just been working on getting the starboard sides, capping rails, cut slightly oversized. And I've cut all of the nibbed scarf joints on each timber, again slightly oversized, which is going to allow me to lay all of these timbers onto the bulwarks and make any of the fine adjustments to really close up each of these joints to get them nice and tight. And then once I've got all of those joints seated together, nice and snug, I can then work around um, on the inside and the outside face of these curved capping rails and I can then plane off the excess timber, taking them back to their finish lines and creating that nice fair curve as we're running fore and aft. But I'm going to put this on pause for the time being as I've just taken a call from a delivery driver to say my first lot of parcels have just arrived here in the boatyard. So I'm just going to go and collect all them and stick them on the bench and open them up and see what goodies have arrived. So today has turned out to be quite an exciting day as I've just been and collected all of my parcels that have been delivered from Climbing Van and Ultramax. So what we've got here is all of the components to get the house electric supply set up and installed onto the boat. Minus a couple of things, so I'm still waiting on a couple of components, one being a galvanic isolator which stops any galvanic corrosion um, from any electrical currents being leaked out into the water that might affect any of the metal components on the boat. And I'm also waiting for the charger inverter to be delivered. So what we've got laid out in front of me is all of the relevant cabling to get all of these components connected up inside the boat. So what we've got here, starting at the back, we've got two consumer units one which is going to be for the 12 volt power and the other that is going to be for the shore power 240 volt and then moving forward we've got five midi fuse holders we've got our main fuse holder board then we've got some buzz bars and our isolation switches also got some temperature sensors and some more larger fuses we've got all of the relevant sized crimp on cable connectors for all of the terminal connections we've also got victron non-isolated DC to DC chargers. Now there's two of them. And then of course, finally, we've got our three lithium ion batteries. So these have also been delivered from Ultramax, which is one of the other companies that I met whilst I was at Southampton Boat Show this year. So here we have all three of the lithium ion batteries, but this is just one of them outside of the box. So we can get an idea for size and build quality. So what we've got are three 200 amp hour lithium batteries that are said to be one of the smartest batteries on the market at the moment. So I will be going into much more detail into Ultramax as a company and the batteries that they've supplied us with in a later video. 
but for now it's just really great to have opened all of these packages and see all of the components that we're going to be fitting onto the boat in the coming months. So again, I just want to say a massive thanks to all of you guys who watched the last video and very kindly donated some money towards purchasing all of these pieces of equipment that are going to be fitted into the boat. So we're about halfway there to getting all of the major components for the water supply, the electrical supply and the fuel supply. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for in this episode. Now I know over the last couple of months, the progress on the boat has been a bit slow as there's been a hell of a lot of planning and conversations going on in the background as well as having Christmas right in the middle of that chunk of time there's been a lot going on behind the scenes that I've had to get my head around and to make decisions on that unfortunately it's just not possible to film a lot of this which has meant that time has been passing and there's not been actually a huge amount of work being done although some big steps have been made to move the project forward so if you haven't done so already be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to get notified of my next release and if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's the best way to help the channel grow. So if there's any of you that have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below the video. And if there's any of you out there that would like to support the project, then head to the description below this video and I'll include all of the relevant links to do so. So I just want to say a massive thanks to all of you that have shown so much support over the last couple of years. Your kind words and generosity really are overwhelming. And I really don't think I would be in this position if it wasn't for all of you guys. So thank you. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.